Welcome back guys. Uh, today's episode video you're going to watch is in relation to the video that I put up about my uh, Get My Little Girl PW50 bike. Um, so before I jump into that I wanted to say thank you to the gentleman that donated this one right here. So any of you guys that's just tuning in or don't know one of our subscribers here uh, reach out and said, you know, hey, I've got one. Uh, you can use it for parts and such, you know, doesn't run, haven't used it or whatever. And we got it. Uh, definitely appreciative. We got it, checked it out. Actually got it running. It ran for a three solid hours, you know, got it fueled up, checked out. You know, it ran for about three hours. And then the... motor gave out it started knocking it did have oil in it whenever I drained the oil out uh, the little drain plug and stuff on the side I had drained the oil out and it was all a lot of bearing material so I know that this one right here is either going to need a motor rebuild or a new motor so I'm actually searching to see if I could rebuild this one and do like a big bore kit but this will be a uh, a side project but for the time that it ran I mean and I'll drop the clip in here and you guys can you guys can check it out uh, it, it ran really good it, it ran exceptionally well uh, it was fun to ride this one though I have got some new parts in for today and we're going to be taking some parts off of this one to try and make this one complete to make it run better now I still need training wheels and another thing you see this zip tied up and the kickstart uh, i don't know if i mentioned that in the last video but the the kickstart has come loose and it just spins freely so you see the covers and stuff off we've been starting these with a drill uh, it's super easy you know a socket that fits on there and we can get it to turn over and, and you know two stroke life it's super quick we can get it up and run and but for right now, it doesn't run the best. So what I'm gonna do is, is I've got some new parts for it. Um, Aside from this right here, I think, put everything over here. I'm gonna open these packages up. Uh, this was on the Amazon list, it has now been taken off the list. Uh, this is a new carburetor kit, it's supposed to have a fuel filter and some other, um, cables we're gonna check it out I, I, I don't remember correctly which one it is uh, the one PZ kit is actually priced pretty good and then I went ahead and got a new spark plug so I'm gonna, we're gonna open these real quick and see what we got to work with and then we are going to start taking this one apart uh, I think I'm gonna take the the front plastics the gas tank the back plastics and all that stuff off um, I think I'm gonna take the oil tank the thing that's supposed to take you're supposed to let it pre-mix on its own this one right here i think i'm going to ditch that get rid of all that uh, and the lines and anything that's connected to that we don't need that i'm, I'm gonna pre-mix pre the oil myself because i have seen that there is reliability issues about these um yeah get some of this stuff off I did figure I did do some reading and, and found out that there is supposed to be a restrictor in this exhaust here you take the exhaust off and there's a little ring that comes out for that one too and give it a little more juice uh, to help it run better so right now basically a tear down uh, assess the situation get the carburetor and spark plug and stuff replaced I do need to change the oil in it and I'm going to one thing that really sucks um, is I know that I will have to pull this case cover off 
to assess the issues with the kickstarting mechanism and these screws right here basically if you want to service this or something you're gonna to have to pull the motor and that's that's not cool so I'll just see what I can do about that um, hopefully there's nothing running around in there maybe we won't have to do that yet I know I'll change the oil on it but maybe we won't have to do that yet and I can just keep starting it with the drill you know with the cover and everything and keep on going for now so let's dive right into it uh, and start taking stuff apart and helping this thing see if we can bring it back to life also with this one we did get another carburetor a backup carburetor and some other cables and whatnot so we do have a few more spare parts again i appreciate and a, a shout out thank you to the gentleman that donated this one um that's super awesome you know especially coming from our subscribers on the channel you know people watching and actually caring and stuff like that uh to some people it's not a real big deal uh, i don't have a goofy enthusiastic you know bouncing around uh, jumping up and down you know uh, stuff like that but i am super appreciative of you know stuff like that thank you uh you do have my contact information now so if you ever need anything i still haven't got those tires sold yet no bikes but i uh, thank you people like you it's what makes it you know it's awesome to do stuff like this and and uh the kindness and awesomeness in the world so enough of that babbling and whatnot i'm gonna go ahead and start taking this stuff apart and see what we can do to bring this thing back to life Got everything apart, got the, the plastics and stuff off, didn't take very long, the back plastics. These two bolts right here. Uh, went ahead and took my filter box off, this little screw right here. Um, the gas tank, went ahead and took it off, it's that one, and then there's a through bolt that goes like up here somewhere. And then the front one's just a bolt on each side for the fender. So I was looking at this old tank and I figured out what this does. So this, when controlled by your, your throttle, I don't know if you can see it move. So this is basically your control for your oil mix. So this line would run back up here. But since we're not gonna use that, I'm just gonna go ahead and nip the line or whatever and not even worry about that. And then on the carburetor, I'll just block this off. So I'm not gonna worry about any of that. Uh, I was gonna take it off, maybe to take a little weight off of it, but I'm not too concerned. Maybe at a later date, I might take it off. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this carburetor back off here and then see what, uh, open my packages, see what's in there and then see about replacing all of this and my cables and stuff. Uh, take a few parts from that and then see if we can start it and see if we can get it running better. Carburetor and stuff is off. I got my throttle and my choke and everything pulled out. Um, got it set off to the side. Got my old spark plug out. I'm gonna check the gap on it, see what the gap was. I haven't looked up to see what the new plugs are gapped at, or supposed to be gapped at. So in this kit, we got a different style choke, but it should work, probably do a little bit better than that right there. Oh, sorry. Uh, a little bit better than that, as far as it, it's pull type and the way that it is. This one just pull up, says choke, do the thing. Oh man, it moves pretty smoothly. Brand new carburetor, nothing super special. Uh, just want a factory replacement. We're gonna block this port off because it was for the oil. So the fuel line goes and then new throttle cable, the dual throttle cable, uh, because you got one that runs to the carb, which is connected to this, and then the other one that runs to, I guess, the oil feed that draws it in. Um, fuel line, a fuel filter, that'll be useful, and a brand new filter box with filter in it. 
Yeah, a little paper instructions, haven't looked at them yet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my cables and stuff off. That way I can start running my new cables. Carbs back on, got the air box and the air filter and everything. Uh, these lines are not super tight. They got bar fittings, but I'm gonna put some clamps around them. Um, gas in the gas tank, tried this out. I got this line blocked for now. That's not a permanent thing, but it is gonna stay blocked. Uh, new fuel line and stuff from here. All of it's back together, cables and everything. There's something I gotta figure out about this. Like it's not retaining tension. Like it doesn't stay seated in here. So like the throttle, no return. Something's, something's weird with that. There's a bunch of different adjusters. I'm not sure, but I'll figure it out. This choke's a little bit different. It's super tight. I mean, it moves freely, but whenever I, it'll go right back. So we've tried the first test fire and we got fuel in it. We went through, threw our old plug back in for right now just to see how this would work. So let's go ahead and show you in the start position, no choke. Go ahead and fire her up. She was sitting for a minute as far as, you know, I started up, let it run for a little bit, and set it back. That's with no choke. Adjusted my idle screw a little bit. We'll have to go back through and adjust that, and then check out with my fuel screw. So we got it to run now. So this is the throttle cable. I gotta figure something out with that. but. off I need to turn my fuel off actually I need to start it back up run that fuel out real quick it's late it's like one o'clock in the morning so I'll just drain this out put it in here and then put it back in the tank and stuff. I don't want fuel to leak everywhere just in case something comes loose. Yeah, that's progress for tonight. Um, I've got to bend this bar back, but I will get the fuel tank situated, get it back on, uh, put a seat on, and then do some test riding as soon as I figure out this, what I'm gonna do with that. So yeah. Appreciate everybody tuning in who watched this episode. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, uh, hit that subscribe button, drop us a like, uh, comments, what do you think about the video, what do you think about the series, uh, uh, progression going on, different things that you want me to show. Again, thank you all for your support. Because stuff like this happens because we have awesome subscribers. Uh, there's going to be more to come with this one uh, with um, what I want to do with the motor and all that. Anyways, uh, I forgot what I was going to say there. Yeah, so the Amazon wish list, uh, the first link down in the comments, uh, if anybody wants to play a part in this or whatnot, the next piece of the puzzle I'm going to get is some training wheels, as far as I know right now. Get some training wheels, get those on there, uh, get this all situated to where she can start venturing out and riding it. Um, as soon as I get the throttle thing figured out, I think we'll be set and ready to go, which is awesome. 
kind of excited about it. I'm looking forward to, um, I'm in the market. Well, I'm looking around uh, in the market to get something that I can ride so I can ride with her and we can start here and then, you know, maybe a month or two of practice and then we can venture out and do some other stuff. But it's just a prediction. That's how she grows. That's how she learns. So, uh, quit rambling on and whatnot. Again, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, check out for the next one. Share this video. Share this channel. We appreciate everyone. Peace out.